All right, so lesson 18 is very similar to lesson 17. We will use basic facts to approximate quotients with two-digit divisors. Let's look at our divisor. So we have two-digit divisor. We have 21. We're going to 21. We're going to round that to 20. And then we're going to look at our dividend, and we're going to make it something that's a basic fact. I went all the way down to 6,000 because I know that 2 times 3 equals 6. Now I'm going to cancel out my zeros here. And basically when I do that, remember I'm just dividing by 10. So now I have 600 divided by 2 equals 3 what? It's going to be 300. And I have my two zeros here. All right, let's move on. My divisor is going to go to 40, and a multiple of 4 is going to be 8. That's going to be 8,000. Now, some people may say, well, why didn't you use uh, 8,400 or 8,400? I could have, and it would just would have just put a extra digit here, and I'll show you uh, both ways. So let's look at 8,000 divided by 40. We know we can divide by 10, and then we get 800 divided by 4. I'm still not sure what that is, but I know 8 divided by 4 is what? 2, and I have 800. So if we use 8,000, let's change the color here. So let's say we use 8,400 instead of just 800. So now what we would have was this. We have our, we can cancel our zeros, divide by 10, and we have 84 divided by 4 and that's 84 tens, because we still have a zero there. So I know that it would be, instead of just two, it would be 21 tens or 210. So this estimation would be a little bit closer, but we know that it's still around 200. And it's a lot easier to just use that one number in the front when we're using that front end estimation. In C, 53 would round down to 50. I would say, since this is closer to 40, I would go up to. 40, which will be 4,000. So now I say, well, blank times 5, what times 5 equals 40? You can just skip down and say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and you get 8. But now it's 8 what? We have 8 10. It's going to be 80 because we have a 0 there. We know that we were going 40 divided by 5. It's really 40 tens divided by 5, or 400, and we get 80. Now I have 68 as my divisor, so that's going to go to 70. And here I have 48, but I know 49 is a multiple of 7, so I'm going to go up to 4,900. And I say, well, I can divide by 10, and I have what times 7 equals 49? I know it's going to be 7, but 7 what? seven tens because I have one zero remaining. You can write that out in unit form and say 49 tens divided by seven. In this case, remember, we already divided by 10 once, so we got rid of those other zeros when we divided by 10. So now 49 tens divided by seven would be seven tens, which is equal to 70. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to add a comment. I will try to answer comments as soon as possible and address any questions. Uh, once again, like and subscribe. A ton of videos to help you. I'm trying to post as many as I can tonight because tomorrow I am headed out of town to Philadelphia. So I won't be uh, posting as much as I would like tomorrow. But I'll try to post Friday night, well, Saturday morning, which is now and Sunday as well. Like and subscribe.